Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gant, and welcome back to Riddle Joker. Riddle Joker, yes. Last time, a lot of things happened. If I remember, if I remember it correctly, a lot of things happened. But the main point is, we helped Kotori son. She's back, you know. She's back at it. She's uh awakening everything. And when she came out, she's like, um, I think I have feelings for Satoru. And Maya's like, no. <laughs> that happened, and after that, um, the next day, we were hanging out with Katori and Mayu, and Katori's like, what's sex? And we're like, um, um, we're not gonna tell you that, but this is love. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, start kissing and everything. And then, he came into our room, Mayu, like, at the night, she came into our room, and she spent the night after, you know, lovemaking. So, without further ado, let's continue. Nah. The following morning, I wake up to a pleasant, pleasant smell. Morning! And I hear the voice of my sweet girlfriend. Ooh, hello. Perfect timing! I just finished making it. I figured you were about to wake up. <laughs> the power of love, huh? Here, enjoy, Satoru-kun. I looked towards the kitchen and noticed water boiling along with the packets of instant coffee I bought some time before op before opened. Thanks, coffee's always brought us together, huh? Yep, awesome. <laughs> it's it's the morning after our first sleeping, our first time sleeping together. I couldn't help the urge. I couldn't help the urge to make you some morning coffee. After she hands me my cup. She takes hers and, and has a sip. Damn it, she's so fucking cute. I smile back at her and take a sip of mine, following along with her. With her. Mmm, this tastes good for instant coffee. Must be because you made it. Glad you enjoyed it, but sorry for opening you without asking. I'll buy you some more next time. Is that okay? Actually, I just leave that coffee specifically for you to use and make. Are you suggesting? I scanned her body with my eyes, telling her indirectly. She wrapped herself in a blanket to cover herself, but otherwise, she's completely naked underneath. She's also covering her her shy smile with her cup, making her all the more alluring. Gosh, you naughty boy! These midnight, <laughs> these midnight trice are gonna turn into a habit. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Too. Sleeping next to you was wonderful too. I could feel your breath and your body's warm. It was so blissful, and then I wake up and I get to enjoy this wonderful morning. I've never felt so wonderful after talking, waking up after, honestly. Fuck, man, I'm sorry. I'm trying to speedrun this because I gotta go. Man, I gotta go like in, in an hour. So hopefully I can get this done and everything. And, ah, oh, fucking shit. My, my arms hurt like a bitch right now. I worked out, like, um, so my biceps are hurting. Not too much. It's not hurting. How do I say it? It's, um, sore. But I hate that feeling of sore, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, I'm not like me. I'm not like a G or anything. I can't just go around and just be like, bam, 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 bam. No, you know what I mean? Being able to make some... <laughs> Being able to spend time with my girlfriend in the morning after passionately making love the night before. Drinking coffee and laughing together. It feels like sleep isn't a cutting a cutoff point. It continues. It's continuing. My, my relationship with her. I can feel it. This is what happiness feels like. Next time, okay? Of course. During this day after day probably won't be possible. But not too long in the future, we'll be able to enjoy mornings like this every day, okay? That sounds gr good. Great even. Think you can work towards it? Oh yeah. This happiness is going to stay until we can spend every day like this. <laughs> I'll be on- I'll be on- <laughs> I'll keep on going on even after. Yeah, of course. Yep. I never imagined I would be waking up and spending time, spending a morning like this. In the future, I imagine I'll look back and laugh at myself for thinking that. 
and by my side will be this wonderful girl. Is that it? Are you fucking kidding me? That's how you're gonna end it? It didn't even feel like it ended to me. <laughs> um... Okay. Epilogue! Okay. I hit something because, um, I don't know, man. Um... This is her. And I don't want it to freeze like fucking... <laughs> fucking the last episode of, um... Of, uh, Tenure Enigma. Where it's like, and my game froze. <laughs> I don't want that shit, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Many months have passed since that memorable morning. Today, on the early spring morning, I hurried towards the school entrance. The air is abuzz with noise coming from the crowd that formed in the distance. Some laugh, others sobbing. Oh, it's graduation, isn't it? Today is a special day. It is the last day of school for the third year students. The day we bid them farewell. Graduation day. Sorry I'm late, you too? Ah, Satoru-kun! You're way too- you're way late! Since I fully expected her to leap towards me, I managed to catch her firmly into my arms. <laughs> Once in my arms, I hug her tightly, and she hugs me back. While smiling, I peek down and see her eyes drooping in happiness as she looks up at me. It looks like catching her satisfied her enough to make up for my late arrival. Gosh, you also had, had us worried, you know? You almost had us worried, you know? It wouldn't have felt like a gradu we graduated if you weren't here to say goodbye to us. Sorry, but I made it, so I'll get to that now. Congratulations on graduating, my senpai Thanks, Satoru-kun. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, I know. I promise I'll catch up to you soon. Then, let's seal our vow with a kiss. Eehee! <laughs> is, is that your graduation gift? Uh, right! Sorry for ignoring you, ignoring you, Katori-san. Ah! Uh, uh, yeah! Satoru needs to gr congratulate you too! I'm a very patient person, so you can go on. I mean, I did sleep for two whole years waiting for you to save me. I really don't know how to respond when you make those jokes, Katori-san. Then, let's just say that I... That I have the special privilege of getting to watch all of your intimate moments. A little too suggestive. W well, if she's okay with me, we might as well, Satoru-kun. So, mmm. Oh, so you weren't joking about this, the kiss. Remember how shy and reluctant she used to be? Today's a special day, so it's okay. It feels like every day is a special day. Minor details don't matter. That's blas <laughs> blasphemous for a researcher to be saying. We're going to f still feel like students for about four years after graduating, so why not? You said it, Katori. She's actually managed to graduate too. Yep, even if it took me five years. So now, after all that... Love is way for Satoru to catch up to us. My eyes are glued. Go, go! It's time like it's times like these when the intimacy between best friends shine the most. But right now, I'm the one who wants to get intimate with her. All right, guess all the people around us will just have to deal with it. Ah! Uh -huh. Okay, close your eyes, my senpai. It wouldn't be quite right to say that I'm not bothered by the fact that people can see us. <laughs> it's just that I want to show someone how happy I'm feeling. Mmm, Satoru-kun. I want her to know that I love her, even if it's a bit embarrassing. And today's a special day. It's a milestone in our journey together. So, I move my lips towards hers. Mmm. And kiss her, symbolizing a new chapter in our lives. Almost as if changing a vow, a promise. In their hands, they hold their graduation certificates. Something they've worked five years, five long years for. I'll catch up to you, no matter how many years it takes. Mmm, but I don't want, want to keep waiting too long. Come join me, and then we can... Yeah, we'll drink coffee together every morning. <laughs> it's gonna 
would be nice. So, so nice, isn't it? Separation. Silence. Reluctance. Fear. We're now graduated. We, we now graduated from all of those phases with a smile. And soon enough, we'll be waking up together every morning with a smile. I can't wait. Okay. Now that's how the game ends. BAM! <laughs> okay. Um, what would I write? <laughs> Fuck, I didn't think it was gonna be this short. Ah, I could've finished it yesterday. Fuck! But then again, I have to go to work and blah 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 and bullshit bullshit bullshit. Excuses, excuses, excuses! <laughs> anyway. This game was really good. Rating this game, I will give it... I will give it... Well, so far, I love that ending. It's... Okay. No, no joke, 9 out of 10. I think that's the highest I ever gave a game. It is 9 out of 10. It's close to being a 10 out of 10 for me. But I say 9 out of 10 because, you know, I haven't got through the other routes, so it wouldn't be fair to just give it a 10 out of 10 off the bat. So, yeah. And I decided which I'm gonna do next. Because, y'all say I love you. I really do. But I wanna see Niju-san's story. Like, I think that would be interesting. So, um, we're gonna do some of hers right now, so, I'll see you in a bit. Well, I am back, and wow, <laughs> it took a while. So, we're gonna do Niju's routes, okay? We're gonna see everything that Niju Senpai has to offer. Well, it's gonna be kind of hard because, you know, some of these routes, they take different turns and everything, blah, 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 blah. But, I think we'll just have to, you know, figure this bullshit out. You know, so yeah, so bear with me. Okay, this is the first event. This is um, fuck, where is this? I don't remember. Oh, when we're um, okay, so I remember this scene. We're here. It's about to be the day of the of the event, right? Of the of the school fair, and we need to like um train with someone, and we train with my senpai to make coffee. Remember? But we're gonna train with Niji-san, okay? Because Niji-san, if I remember the scene correctly, she was really, really nervous about, you know, about serving people, so we're gonna help her. So, let's continue. We are in chapter three, yeah, before the school fair, so bear with me. Niji-san! How about Niji-san? Me, 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 me? For, for, for what reasons would you nominate me to go first? Well, you seem the most nervous of the group. So I figure you might as well try it and get it over, get it over, with rather than worrying yourself into a nervous wreck over it. Oh, okay, now I remember. It's not when I make coffee, my senpai. It's when <laughs> she was like, "Oh, hey there, love." <laughs> I mean, like, sorry, I was trying to do like a country accent of her. Be like, that's not how you're gonna talk to people, right? <laughs> uh, okay, that is a fair point. You have to do it eventually, so why not go first? It'll be- it'll, you'll be done quicker. <sighs> Alright, chickening out won't get me anywhere, so I might as well do this. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Girls must be courageous. Let's practice with each other while they're busy, Shikatsu- Shikatsu-chan. Fuck, I hit my desk, sorry. Sure! <laughs> Is he a cat girl, really? Meow? Welcome to our cafe! Uh, why did you meow? Meow meow! Welcome to the cafe! That was a rhetorical question. Why are you making cat sounds? Is that not what guests prefer? Uh, only a very specific subset of people. I mean, sure, it's cute and people like cute. But that's not what we're going for with this cafe. No cat sounds, please. Act like a person. Ah, a person. Absolutely. Welcome back, master. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I didn't do this one. Fucking, you're an adorable dork. Fucking weeb. <laughs> Welcome back, master. No, that's not what I meant. It's cute, but no, we're we're not doing a maid cafe. Well, there are many <laughs> there are many facets to being a waitress. 
I'm not sure if I can do this. Just be more natural. I, I get that, all right? But it's much harder than it sounds. Just be polite and you'll be good. Ah, okay. Politeness is it. It is. Okay, I'm ready. What? Welcome back to our cafe. Our cafe. Welcome to our cafe, sir. Okay, this is pretty normal. <laughs> your le your your table is located at six o'clock. Please give me your orders, sir. Why are you talking like a soldier now? Have I failed you, sir? Look, you're you're trying, but like it's not coming across a bit, but it's just coming off across as a bit stiff and unnatural. If you if you have to force yourself to to act the way all all day, you're gonna wear yourself out. Copy that, sir. Why is he still doing this? Do you never go to cafes or like restaurants in general? I have, but rarely I but very rarely do I go. There is no need for me to go out, eat outside since I have the dorm canteen. And before I came here, my mother fixed all of my all of my meals. That might explain why she doesn't know how waitresses are supposed to act. Are you experienced with them? I used to eat out every now and then, so yeah, I guess. Could I ask you to teach me the basics on waitressing then? I mean, I don't have experiences being a waiter. If we have more time, I could we could take her to an actual cafe and let her see herself. But unfortunately, we don't. First and foremost, you need to quit trying to play a character. Alright! A typical greeting would be, Welcome to our cafe! Would you like a smoke or a non- Oh, oh, no, wait. Smoking won't be allowed anyways. Okay, so after that, the first line, you want to go, Follow me- <clears throat> Follow me to your table, sir. And after that, are you ready to order? <laughs> that's, how, <laughs> that's how I fucking talk in yogurt on there. Follow me to your table, please. Are you ready to order? Like, that's how I talk, man. <laughs> well, welcome to our cafe! Follow me to your table, please! Are you ready to order? Perfect! That should suffice! So you're gonna do that all in one take? Even before they get to the table? Hmm, I see! You're right! That way is much easier for me! Also, you can't forget to smile! You wanna look cheerful to your guests all at all times! Even when you're sad! Hmm, a smile, huh? It's quite difficult for me to put up a smile on command. <clears throat> Welcome to our cafe! Follow me to your table, please! A little wider. <clears throat> Welcome to our cafe! Follow me to your table, please! Nice, that was a wonderful smile. As cute as that was, I think you'll be just fine. Wh what C Cute! You say? Not cute at all? Her face lights lights up bright red in an instant. Yeah, she really is one to get embarrassed easily and shows it. Other people, um, they often describe me using the words like scary or prudish. When you're smiling, I don't think so. Ah, uh, you're just adorable. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> this vato's gonna make you evil. <laughs> You're gonna be, you're not gonna be nice, um, nice goody goody two shoes. You're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be a chola. Watch by the end of this, you're gonna be a chola. When you're smiling, I don't think, I don't think so. No one would possibly think scary after seeing that adorable smile. <coughs> Her blushing intensifies. She's so red at the point that I'm starting to worry. Your face is really burning red there. You alright? It, it's all your fault for silly calling me cute out of the blue! Be truthful! Are you not teasing me for your own amusement? I'm not. I truly believe any customer would leave happy after seeing that adorable smile. Surely a simple smile won't be enough to do a satisfactory job! Well, yeah, there are other things. You... 
fuck. There's other things. You also want to think about what your guests want and focus on keeping them happy. But you already have that down pat. You already have that pat down from the beginning. You're a very thoughtful person by nature. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Your smile is the best weapon. Your guests would much rather see a smile when you come up to them than some stiff expression that might make you seem like you're irritated. Your smile is fantastic, so just do like I told you, and you'll do great. Me? I would be able to get upset if you meant ill, but I just don't know how to react when you keep bombarding me with compliments. You get plenty of those from get. You get plenty of those from guests. Some of mine even hit on you. You need to be prepared for that. Don't. Do not scare me. I hear that guys chatting up cute girls they'll find at the. I hear that guys chatting up cute girls they'll find at the school festival is a pretty common occurrence. Though I've never done that, so I can't vouch for how true it is. Really? Do you appear appear rather experienced to me? You do appear rather experienced to me. I do? I definitely toughened up from all of the missions I've done. That might be why. Well, look, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just tr saying you're really cute, so it's something you might you might want to keep in mind. Uh, uh. Again, you call me cute. Tell me, what are you trying to accomplish by showering me with compliments? Nothing. I'm trying to give you some advice. Just be wary, alright? This is looking to be a much more difficult endeavor than I ever imagined. And that's why we're practicing. Let's try rehearsing as many different scenarios as you can. Uh, right! I'm ready! Hit me with your worst! <laughs> so, she says the dark. Improvements were being made, and through our preparation, we were getting closer and closer to the big day. But yeah, seeing all the excitement around me is starting to weigh me on me. Okay, we already seen this. We already seen I'm so totally being like, Father, do something, do something, please. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next um need you. We're just trying to get to the need you route, okay? Like this will be this episode will be setting it up. The next episode will be you know that's the first episode of the need you route, okay? So I'll see you there. Well, welcome back. Okay, so this is after, you know, he talked to the dad and he confronted, um, you know, the guy who can manipulate people's minds. He went to that right there and yeah, like this is when he's like, fuck, tomorrow's a big day and I need to take a walk. So, and normally we found my senpai, but I think right here we're going to find someone else. So let us continue. Guess I'll go walk around for a bit. Mmm. The lobby is empty, dead silent. Yeah, this didn't really help. Walking around the dorm only makes you more angsty, if any. If anything. Maybe I should go outside after all. No, too risky. I can't afford to get in trouble on the day before the fair. I feel awful towards the others. Guess I'll go back to my... Wait, what was that? I just heard a noise from the canteen. Someone's there. Oh, is that you, Nija son? Hey! Oh, why, hello there, Harakun! What are you What are you doing down here at this hour of, of the night? Wait, is that me? No, that was her. Trying to snitch food? Trying to snitch food because of an empty stomach, perhaps? Come on now, you know better than, than to do that. No, I was in the lobby and I heard noise, so I came to check. So, what are you up to? Snitching food, perhaps? <laughs> Hardly. I'm practicing for tomorrow. All by yourself? I'm not waitressing. I'm practicing the cooking. We have to be prepared for anything tomorrow, so I want to make sure I sure I'm ready as I I'm ready as I can be. Which is just my excuse, to be honest. Oh. Truly, I am so nervous about tomorrow that I can't sit still. Hence. I asked for permission to use the kitchen and came here. Okay. Is that the case for you as well? Hehe. <laughs> Try as you may. You can't hide it from me. You're cut. 
your content. Fuck, I can't read that word. Cat, con content suits look, look easy, looks even more gr even grinner than usual. What I would say is clear proof of your nervousness. Ha! <sighs> All right, you got me. You're entirely right. I was strolling around the dorm because I'm I felt too antsy to st to stay in my room. Okay, I gotta sit in my chair. I, I fucking moved it and I can't see the whole thing. My mic is blocking all the words. Okay, let me drink some water. Drink some water. You know you need it. The time what did you get? I can drink whatever water I want. <laughs> You're entirely right. I was strolling around the dorms because I felt too antsy to stay in my room. I figured it was. It was something like that. Wait one moment and I'll make you some crepes. Crepes? Sweet food helps ease one's nervousness. Seeing me just us saying that with a smile, I feel my, my restless heart calming down. Oh, he's falling in love. Mmm. 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 Did it turn out alright? Mmm, it was great. You cooked it just long enough. Ah, oh, thank goodness. You have no idea how much of a relief that is to hear. You're pretty good at cooking, huh? All girls are able to cook to at least this extent. Well, no, I've seen people cook bad, okay? Like, if you're telling me, if you're gonna tell me, would I rather eat food from a homeless guy or food from my little sister, my little one, she's like 12, right? Eat, eat food that a homeless guy made who used to be, you know, an okay cook in his past, or let my little sister cook, I'd rather take the homeless guy. I'd rather take all the, like, the nasty things he has on his fingers because he can't, you know, he can't fucking clean his hands. But, um, yeah, I'll fucking eat from that guy to my little sister because, you know, even though she's a girl, she can't cook. Or, I like to, I like to say, but truthfully, I have to practice, I have to practice a fair bit. Well, either way, the crepes turned out amazing. That means... That means it was well worth putting the, in the effort. <laughs> Can I say one thing, though? Did I make some blunders somewhere? No. I was just gonna say it's so good I want another. Ah, oh, that was... That was all? Goodness, you silly ghost. Don't tease me like that. <laughs> Sorry. You'll be up all night if you keep eating sweets this late. Don't tr do try to exercise some restraint. Uh, that's just gonna call me fat and be like, you better exercise. Like, I was exercising. I exercised yesterday. That's why my arms fucking <laughs> are sore as a motherfucker. Well, they hurt a little bit because I do have, um... I have bad posture when I'm doing workouts. Which, you know, I thought I would solve it, but... You know, I haven't worked out in a while, so I'm like, I just want to work out. I don't care about posture or anything. I just want to... Boom, 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 boom. Well, you need to care about posture if you don't want to damage yourself, you know what I mean? Okay. It also purposely makes it smaller. What? I also make purposely made it smaller for that reason. So don't think I was it was a mistake on my part, okay? Oh, wow. Thanks for looking out for me, Ninja-san. Think you'll be able to get to sleep now? Mm, yeah, I think so. I feel a lot better now. Thanks, Ninja-san. She slowly shakes her head. I ought to be thanking you! How come? You were the one who gave me the opportunity to be part of such a wonderful project. And also, and you also helped me great, greatly improve my ability usage. Thank you so very much, Ari Harakin. Mmm, I find myself cap captivated by that gentle, heartwarming smile on her face. Huh? Ari Harakin? Oh, no, it, it's nothing. But yeah, I feel a lot better now after talking to you. I think I'll be able to sleep well today. Tonight. Gosh, I don't know if I should feel happy or embarrassed after hearing that. You're making me blush. Oh, I know. Let, let me make you a crepe so you'll feel less nervous about tomorrow. No, um, I appreciate the thought, but that won't be necessary. I already ate many before you came. And you... Any more and well, the repercussions of snagging this lake can be severe, dreadfully severe. Oh, 
So you worry about that kind of stuff. Kind of unexpected. What are you trying to imply about me? I'm a perfectly normal girl too, you know? Sorry, I wasn't trying to say that. I was just surprised since, well, you're pretty cute and also really slim. So I, so I guess I figured you wouldn't worry about your weight. Uh, uh again, with these those casual compliments. You're hoping I'll forget about what she just said by showering me with, the, with compliments, aren't you? I'm not, I swear. Fine. Well, as I said earlier, you don't need to you don't need to make a crepe for me. Anything else I could do for you? You already done plenty, thank you. In all truthfulness, coming here and making the crepes didn't help didn't help at all. I'm still feeling very jittery and nervous. But talking to you has some ease had had eased some of my tension. I feel a lot more confident about tomorrow now. <laughs> Fuck, sorry. Here, here's to hoping our cafe is successful. Oh, what am I saying? We must make it successful. Stuff like that's all fine and good, but try not to stress yourself out too, too much over it. I mean, you're going to be one of our waitresses, and look how cute you are. Is there really any way for us to fail? Ah, uh -huh, you, you, you did it again. You're teasing me for your amusement. You are, aren't you? I'm not. I never do something that mean-spirited. She and I continue to banter back and forth until lights out time comes. Another view. <laughs> Goodness, what is this deal? He threw out compliments much too casually. I didn't take him so much for a playboy type, but maybe he is. <laughs> really? That's a playboy type? But wait! He isn't constantly flattering out Flattering our other classmates in the classroom. Mm. Maybe he isn't joking around. But if he's not, then that would mean he truly thinks those things. <laughs> right when I got over my nervousness from that from the fair. Fuck. Right when I got over my nervousness from the fair, you did this to me. Eh, I'll make you pay. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll see you in the next need you event. Okay, okay, I'll see you in the I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so I am back. Um, so it turns out that we're on the Hazuki route right now. So like I was doing the fair and everything, right? Like, like hopefully, like record, like hopefully, like we could be like, oh, when we came back, like. My sent no, what was it? My sent place of blood, and that's when was the start of the you know my route. But Niji's son, nothing like that happened. It was just basically, oh yeah, we did the expo fair and everything, woo! And yeah, but we're on the we're on the route. You see it right there, and we'll start that tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, okay? Or um, uh, when is this video coming out? I think this video is coming out Monday or Wednesday. No, this one's coming out Wednesday. So yeah, tomorrow. Anyway. That's about it. If you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment. Yeah, this video sucked. I didn't know it was going to be so short the Mayu route, okay? I thought it was going to keep continuing because, you know, every time it's like, oh, we're going to end here. It's like, it's not ending. So, wh what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Yeah, I messed up, okay? It's really weird, okay? <laughs> But that's why I give it 9 out of 10. <laughs> anyway, I can't really make a good review until, you know, I finish all of the routes. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to see whenever I post these videos, and leave a comment, and follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, because, you know, I have a Twitter that <laughs> I ha didn't use yesterday. <laughs> okay, well, this is Gant saying farewell. And as always, bye-bye.